laws except to those who believe in Allah the Almighty وعملوا الصالحات and do righteous deeds وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصدق and except those who after they believe after they do good deeds after that tell to each other about the goodness and after that وتواصوا بالصدق and advise each other about the patients. So it's all those, they are all interlinked and complementary to each other and Muslims should be like that, in all that. In order to be like that, we need to follow, just to try our best to put into application what this first, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering us in this first, and then after that to learn from the uh, people who were before us, those who did the same thing, those who applied it correctly. You have to learn from them. And in order to do that, in my 15 minutes, inshallah, and last week I was uh, planning to teach uh, the four imams, four Muslim scholars, and then because I didn't get time, and today also there is another special program, I want to highlight those four scholars in the coming 10 minutes and then to see what we can learn from them. Or do we, uh, because nowadays it seems that we have uh, differences and sects which mostly are based on imams and uh, scholars and so on. Therefore, the four imams who are widely known by all the, most of the Muslims are Imam Malik, Imam Hanafi, Imam Shafi'i, and Imam Hanafi. We will explain about them when we come to each one of them. But first of all, we'll, now let us see what they were common. They were common in certain characteristics. I just want to highlight those characteristics. The most important ones are those that they used to be not to claim any sect, any path. And in their time, there were so many political groups. There were also religious groups, including Shia, Jahmiya, uh, 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 this one, and the Hawarij. So many existed. They, they all came up during their presence, but they never went to anyone of them. That is one, character, one of their characteristics. They were not, they were always playing a middle. Politica, their politics was so middle. They were neither uh, opponent to this one, nor pro, uh, pro this one. They were just in middle. So we must always be a middle and look at everything from different angles. They were so polite, they were um, always avoiding conflict, and they were dedicated to education. One of the character, one of the uh, qualities that they all have <coughs> come together was how they preach and how they teach. And uh, the other thing that they were together, one thing must be considered before we even got to that is that all almost all of them were raised by single mothers. We look at this this is very important. All those imams that we know today they came from very poor families and they were raised by single mothers. So that's one lesson. The other lessons that we started are being so eager to learn from childhood and they were very much interested in education and they were full-time students all the time. They sincerely and thoroughly took all their life to study, even when they were teaching. And when they were le teach, learning and even when they were teaching, they always used to pay full attention <coughs> to different disciplines to look at every uh, 
Napoleon or every issue from different parts, different areas, different countries, and they were learning whatever is related to the Islamic jurisprudence, such as language, cultures, and all that, so that they are familiar with everything. And all of them, they were common in, first of all, to recognize each other, to respect each other, to cooperate each other. That's their co-communality. And they were always, they used to stay away of any kind of corruption and mischief. And all, all that, they were also yeah. flexible to adjust their rulings to their uh, public interest. And also look at individual interest, and which is in conformity with Islam. And you, they, all, all of them, they were common in one statement which must be paid full attention to. It is that every one of them said, if you see my fatwa, my judgment, becoming against for one Quranic intention or authentic sunnah, throw away, throw it at the wall, throw it from the window, forget it. So do not be stick to my decision when you get the truth from the main Islamic source. They said all that without knowing each other and without, without having a special meeting to decide that. All of them, they used to respect the public interest, the most of them, not all of them. And they made their decisions always. Okay. Their ruling okay. was coming from the Quran. If they, in case they don't find that ruling from the Quran, they were referring to the authentic Sunnah, which Sunnah can be divided into three parts: a Sunnah of Gaudiya, our Aliyah, so a Sunnah uh, when it comes to statement, giving a statement, and when it is practiced, Fa'liya or Amaliya, and the other one is Kawliya, saying that, like the Hadith. And the Qawli Fa'liya uh, is what the Prophet was doing. He did in this and this and this, that is an action. The other one is Taqrir, is it? that he, someone says something, and he just, he don't, he do not prohibit it. He just kept quiet. That means approval. And all that, when they look all those situations, it's also to consider their timing that uh, the first one was born when the day, the calendar of Hijri was 93 or uh, it is not yet clear whether he was born in 93, 94, after 98. And that is in conformity with the Miladi, like 179. And Hanafi and Shafi were born uh, when the Hijri was 150 and uh, 151. Why uh, Hanafi the last one was born in 164? And so all of them were in the reality character from 179 all the way to 855. And the history is 93 up to 164. So in all that, the Milan and Italy, I have to uh, also express those two. The Milan, Milan the calendar, the calendar that we widely use today, that is 2014. Because Milan is Arabic word, is when Jesus, he of this year when he was born. So it is based on the birth day of Jesus. That's why it's called Milan. Italy is based on the migration of the prophet from Mecca to Medina, therefore it is called Uti. And all that, so we have to know that uh, in, in all of those, we can learn that Muslims should be Muslim. All those are uh, none of them claim that he was a or or All of them identify themselves as Muslims. And they all, all of them, they said that we are only teaching you what we have learned from Islam. And you are Muslims. In order to be Muslims, 
you should apply on that. So uh, the conclusion, inshallah, I will uh, explain each one of them in a particular session. And, and today, I just want to highlight that all those are imams. There are one, there are a lot of them teachers who are teaching, have their own schools, and the students learn from them. And all of them were happy to teach other cooperate with each other so that uh, Islam has no sectors, no divisions, no cultures, all Muslims are what? And that is the clear truth.